Gunsmoke. Brought to you by Chesterfield. To put a smile in your smoking, always buy Chesterfield. Made the modern way with Accuray. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gun smoke. Starring William Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. Good boy. Now hold it. No need drawing down on me, boy. I'm just a harmless traveler like yourself. How in blazes did you sneak up on me so quiet? Now, that ain't a friendly way to greet a guest. I'll be friendly to anybody who comes into my camp with fair warning and guns holstered. The bacon's burning. Well, you keep your hands where I can see them. Are you going to turn away a hungry traveler? If you're traveling, where's your outfit? Where's your horse? Over in the next gully there. You alone? You don't see nobody else. You ain't the type to ride the plains alone. You calling me a liar, son? Your bacon is getting cold. All right. Here. Bread's right there. Use your own knife. Thank you kindly. Oh, if I ain't the type to ride alone, what type am I? You look like a storekeeper or a gambler, maybe, traveling by request. <laughs> you don't feel to say what you think, eh, boy? Ah, say now, this looks right good. Mm -hmm. Dip in the pan grease if you want. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wait. That's some bay horse you got hobbled out there. You wouldn't consider selling. No. Mm hmm. Didn't think so. Only. Looks like he might be coming down with some kind of hoof trouble. Huh? Hmm. The way he holds his off rear. What do you mean? Yeah. Why, you're crazy. I don't see nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Let that be a lesson, boy. Don't never trust the stranger. <laughs> Smile with Chesterfield. Yes, put a smile in your smoking. It's as easy as ABC. Because Chesterfields made with Accuray are A, always milder. B, better tasting. C, cooler smoking. Yes, a Chesterfield is always milder. Accuray controls your Chesterfield in the making. Gives it a more even distribution of fine tobaccos that burn more evenly, smoke much milder. A Chesterfield is better tasting. An accurate Chesterfield draws more easily, lets you enjoy all the flavor. And a Chesterfield is cooler smoking. 14% more perfectly packed than cigarettes made without accurate. You enjoy cooler smoking. No hot spots, no hard draw. So always buy Chesterfield. Put a smile in your smoking, just give them a try. Light up a Chesterfield. They satisfy. Marshal, Marshal Dillon. 
Well, Moss. Just about to send word up to your office. Oh, what about? Dutch George isn't Tom. It's his horse right there at the bay. Left it with me. Wants new shoes all around. Where is he now, Moss? Up to the Long Branch, most likely. Thought you ought to know. Is he still one? No, that jury in Ellsworth acquitted him. He's free. Blamed if I can understand him. Everybody in the state knows he's the biggest horse thief west of the Mississippi. Well, with operations as big as Dutch's, it's hard to prove. That's a good-looking horse he's got there. It sure is. Wonder who it really belongs to. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Oh, thanks, Moss. You're here. Look at him, all clustered around like he was a governor or something. Yeah. Some poor man steals one horse, they string him to a tree. He steals a thousand to make him a hero. Well, he'll get caught too sooner or later, Kitty. I'll be back in a minute. Hello, Dutch. Hello, Matt. Have a drink? Just for old time's sake? All right, I'll drink to that. Pour it, Sam. Right, if I should. To old times. Ah, yeah, old times were all right, weren't they, man? Now yeah, what I can remember of them, yeah. yeah. It was a long time ago. You were just a kid. <laughs> Some kid. Always pestering me with questions. Bound to learn every trick I knew. Be just like me. Yeah. Oh, well, let that be a lesson to you. It was, Dutch. Well, then I did you a favor. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. But you know, my job kind of puts us on opposite sides of the street now, Dutch. Oh, I don't see why. I've got no trouble with the law. I'm a legitimate businessman. I hope so, Dutch, because if your business gets illegitimate around here, I'll come after you. In spite of old times... Yeah, I expect you would, and you would be a rough enemy, too. Have another drink? No, no, thanks. Matt, I didn't know you knew Dutch George. Well, it was a long time ago, Kitty. I only knew him for a few months until the sheriff caught up with him. Oh, that must have been a shock for you. Well, like he said, it was a good lesson. You know, the funny part of it is, Kitty, he's not really a bad man at all. Huh? He learned to be a horse thief back in the days when it was a game every frontiersman played with the Indians. Yeah, he just never gave it up. Well, I just hope when he does get caught, it doesn't have to be you, does it? Yeah. I hope not, too, Kitty. <laughs> Come in. Howdy, Marshal. Uh, what can I do for you, son? My name's Jimmy McQueen. I got robbed. Oh, where was this? East of Dodge, maybe 20 miles. Night before last. I was just cooking my grub when this stranger comes up real quiet. It seemed harmless, but he slugged me when I wasn't looking. What'd he look like? Tall, maybe six feet. Strong looking. With a gray mustache and a... Arrow scar by the temple. Uh huh. What'd you lose, son? Thirty dollars, but that's not important. My horse is. He was a good one, Marshal, and I aim to find him and get him back. A bay with a white blaze on his forehead. That's right. You seen him? Let's go down to Moss Grimmick's stable. Your horse may still be there. He come and took the horse right after I finished shooting him. I heard he left town afore dark last night. And we'll go after him. Now, now look, Marshal, you don't need to bother. You just loan me a horse and I'll find him. You know the man you're after, Jimmy? Don't matter none to me. It's Dutch George. Well, I still got to get my horse back. You leave that to me. I'll take you along to identify the horse, but that's all, you understand? I don't know why you're so particular, Marshal. The man's only a horse thief. But a very particular horse thief. 
And for the first time, we might have some real evidence against him. I don't want you ruining it. All right, Marshal, whatever you say. Uh, Moss, give me Chester's horse, too. We'll pick him up on the way. Now, let's pull up here a second. Yeah, here's where he met his men with the herd. You see the ground's all trampled? Yeah, there must be a couple hundred head. Yeah, maybe more. I guess I don't rightly understand this Dutch George's way of horse thieving. He steals by the herd, Jimmy, from ranches or Indians. Well, where does he take them to? West, over into the line into Colorado. There he meets another bunch of his men driving a herd stolen from Colorado territory. And they exchange the horses, sell Colorado horses in Kansas, Kansas horses in Colorado. This fellow may be smarter than I thought. And tougher, too. Well, I think maybe we better camp here tonight. They're at least two hours ahead of us. That'd put them over on Crooked Creek, probably at the Forks. Why don't we go on? Come up on them in the dark. Now, we can do the same thing by starting early, a couple of hours before dawn. And our horses need the rest. Not to mention me. I'm sure we'll be happy to get down. You notice all the Cheyenne trail sign, Marshal? Well, some. Some? I've been seeing it all day. This territory's thick with Cheyenne. They must be camped close, too. How do you know so much about Cheyenne, son? Well, I was raised with him, Marshal. My pa worked at the Cheyenne Agency at Darlington. And maybe I underestimated you, Jimmy. Maybe you're not as green as you look. I told you I could handle this myself, Marshal, but you wouldn't listen. Yeah, it's just as well. If you'll take care of the horses, Chester and I'll rustle up some wood for a fire. Sure, Marshal. There's a likely snag, Mr. Dillon, right over there. Okay, Chester, let's go see if we can carry it. Good and dry, it'll be... Mr. Dillon! Why, why that little whipper's now... Why, why, he, he's riding on. Yeah, I sure did underestimate him. What do you expect he's up to? He's probably headed for Crooked Creek, wants to face Dutch George alone. Then he's going to get hurt. Well, come on, we'll try to catch him before it's too late. <laughs> Sir Camp, Chester. On the edge of the bluff there. Yeah, but where's the horses? Yeah, down on the creek bottom, out of sight, probably. I count four men, three asleep and one on guard. Reckon that's all. Well, except for those riding night guard on the herd, yeah. I don't see the kid no horse. No. Maybe he's around somewhere in the dark. What are we gonna do? Um... You stay here. Now, when I get up by that big tree there, you make some noise, but just enough to draw the guard out, okay? All right, sir. All right. Who's that? Dutch, Matt Dillon. I got your man with my gun on his back, and I'm coming in. Now you throw all your guns on the ground beside the fire, do you hear me? I hear you, Matt. All right, Chester, let's go. You too, Hack. All right, everybody, rest easy. Well, Matt, you got more nerve than I thought. Where's the kid, Dutch? What kid? The boy you stole the bay horse from. Well, I left him for all I know. You haven't seen him tonight? Around here? Is he on the trail, too? He's probably out there in the dark right now, drawing a bead on you. You sure you didn't plan it this way, Matt? It could save you a lot of trouble. You'll stand trial, Dutch, if I have my way. Matt, I don't want to see you get hurt. But I don't want to go to jail, either. Well, you'll have to decide that, Dutch. What about old times' sake? 
I decided about old times before I became a lawman. I see. Mr. Dillon, there's something going on down there in the creek bottom. That's a stampede. Somebody's stampeding the horses. Matt, is this some of your doing? Use your head. Why would I want to stampede them? I need them for evidence. We've got to do something. Stay still. You go down that bluff and you'll be trampled to death. Up here, maybe we're safe. Smile with Chesterfield. Yes, put a smile in your smoking. It's as easy as ABC. Because Chesterfields made with Accuray are A, always milder. B, better tasting. C, cooler smoking. Yes, a Chesterfield is always milder. Accuray controls your Chesterfield in the making. Gives it a more even distribution of fine tobaccos that burn more evenly, smoke much milder. A Chesterfield is better tasting. An accurate Chesterfield draws more easily, lets you enjoy all the flavor. And a Chesterfield is cooler smoking. 14% more perfectly packed than cigarettes made without accurate. You enjoy cooler smoking. No hot spots, no hard draw. So always buy Chesterfield. Put a smile in your smoking, just give them a try. Light up a Chesterfield. They satisfy. to death just like the other one. Well, Dutch, your night herders are dead. Your horses are gone. Looks like the Indians have put you out of business this trip. Yeah. <laughs> but you haven't got any evidence against me now. Even if you do find them horses, it'll be the Indians. Not Dutch George has them. Maybe you can arrest them. You know something, Dutch? In a way, I'm glad... I'd rather it was somebody else finally put you behind bars. Nobody's going to do that. Yes, Matt. they will, Dutch, sooner or later. Unless I can talk you out of this business. Now, Matt, what else would I ever do? Well, I don't know. Hell, you got a long walk ahead of you. Oh, don't worry about us. We will find some horses somewhere else. I suppose you will. Well, come on, we'll bury these men. And then Chester and I'll head back to Dodge. Well, Mr. Dillon, Dodge looks just the same. You didn't expect it to change much in three days, did you, Chester? Oh, no. What I mean is it looks good. Chester, hmm? look up ahead there, in front of the office. Well, for it. that's Jimmy McQueen's bay horse. Yeah. Howdy, Marshal. Hello, Jimmy. I just brought your horse back, Marshal. There at the hitch rail. Much obliged. You're welcome. Well, I... Is that all you've got to say, Jimmy? Where in the world did you go to? Oh, well, I'm sorry about that. But I kind of had an idea I didn't think you'd cotton to, so I just left. Well, I guess your idea paid off. You got your horse back. Yeah. Funny thing, I found him running loose out on the prairie. Pretty lucky, I guess. Now, Jimmy. What, Marshal? I know you and your Cheyenne friends ran off those horses. And two men died. A man gets trampled in a stampede, that's an accident, ain't it, Marshal? Especially if he stole the horses to start with. Yeah, I guess it is an accident, Jimmy. Well, 
So long, Marshal. Mr. Dillon, that boy is sure tricky. I know, Chester. Yeah, let it be a lesson to us. How? Never trust a stranger. In a moment, our star, William Conrad. Put a smile in your smoking. It's as easy as ABC, because Chesterfields made with Accuray are A, always milder. Smoke much milder. Burn evenly. B, better tasting. Draw more easily. You enjoy more flavor. C, cooler smoking. 14% more perfectly packed than cigarettes made without Accuray. No hot spots. No hard draw. So always buy Chesterfield. Remember, an Accuray Chesterfield is always milder, better tasting, cooler smoking. You know, a frontier peace officer was always ready to face someone who wanted to kill him. But on our next gun smoke, a marshal faces someone who wants to be killed. Well, until then, good night. <laughs> Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman McDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The special music for Gunsmoke was composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Tom Hanley and Bill James. Featured in the cast were John Daner, Vic Perrin, and Jim Nusser. Farley Bear is Chester, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Make today your big red letter day, your L and M red letter day. Superior taste and filter, it's the miracle tip. Make today your big red letter day. Change to L and M today. L and M's got everything. Superior taste and superior filter. Get L and M today. This is it. L and M. Superior taste and filter. Superior taste from richer tobaccos. Tastier, light and mild. Superior filter. It's white, pure white. Added to L&M tobaccos, this miracle tip actually improves your enjoyment. Look for the big red letters. Smoke L&M, America's best. L&M's got everything. Get L&M today. Join us again next week for another specially transcribed story as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal, fights to bring law and order out of the wild violence of the West in Gunsmoke.